Hello everybody and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we'll be covering the news from February 25th to March 3rd. Let's get started. After the 43rd meeting of the Central Sanctioning and Monitoring Committee in New Delhi, the cumulative number of houses sanctioned under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban is now over how many lakhs? The fourth Global Digital Health Partnership Summit is organized where Railway Minister Piyush Goyal launched Rail What Dashboard in New Delhi, who has launched a national program aimed at eliminating viral hepatitis recognized as an important public health problem, and who is the winner of the Khan's International Open Trophy. Let's look at the answers here. Housing and Urban Ministry has approved the construction of 5,60,695 more affordable houses now after this sanctioning, now all the sanctioned houses, it goes up to now 79 lakh. That's under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban. Uh, Health Minister JP Nadda inaugurated the fourth Global Digital Health Partnership Summit in New Delhi. Railway Minister Piyush Goel launched Rail Drishti dat Dashboard. So Drishti is like the vision. So you can now see everything about the train. That is what it is all about. All the information related to uh, you know, Indian Railway will be available at the click of the button on a new digital portal, raildrishti.crish.org.in. Union Minister Ashwini Kumar Chauve launched a national program aimed at eliminating viral hepatitis. Indian Grandmaster Abhijit Gupta lifted the Khan's International Open Trophy in France. Let's move to the next five. Which country has stopped the Bloomberg Healthiest Country Index? Which state has launched the Sujlam Suflam Jal Sanchai Abhiyan? Who is the chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on Information Technology? Under Mukhya Mantri Yuva Sohiman Yojana, the urban youth will get how many rupees stipend per month during 100 days of period? And what is the rank of India in 2019 Passport Index? Here are your answers. Spain has risen to the top uh, of the Bloomberg's healthiest country index. I think it has beaten Italy to the crown. Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rupani launched the second edition of state's government water conservation drive called Sujalam Suflam Jal Sanchai Avyan. The Parliamentary Committee on Information Technology under the chairmanship of BJP MP Anurag Thakur allowed the global policy, uh, public policy head Twitter to appear on behalf of CEO Jack Dorsey and has given the microblogging platform 10 days to respond to the issues raised by the panel. So this was the panel under BJP MP Anurag Thakur. The Congress government in Madhya Pradesh is talking about giving stipend of 4,000 rupees per month during 100 days of the period. Now, Indian passport is gaining strength now it is ranked 65 i think already mentioned in previous gainful these are very dynamic ranking real time you know if today couple of countries they give us you know visa on arrival uh, or sorry visa free entry our rank will improve further under the newly released national e-commerce policy draft which issues were part of e-commerce system Recently, which state has declared monkey as vermin for a year? Name the winner of Best Picture at 2019 Oscars. Name the sculptor who is associated with the newly inaugurated War Memorial in New Delhi. Who is the director of the documentary period? End of sentence. Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about the government has released draft e-commerce e policy proposing setting up a legal and technological framework for restriction on cross-border data flow and also laid out condition for the business regarding collection or processing of sensitive data locally and storing it abroad. So the six broad issues are here data, infrastructure development, e-commerce marketplaces, regulatory issues, stimulating domestic digital economy and export promotion through e-commerce. Uttarakhand government has declared monkey as vermin for one year in 11 district, 91 tehsil and sub tehsils. The best Oscar went to Green Book, best actor Rami Malik for Bohemian Rhapsody, actress Olivia Colman for The Favourite, director is Alfonso Curran for Roma, best documentary feature Free Solo and best documentary short subject was period end of sentence. In 1960, the proposal for the National War Memorial was first made. Finally, it was made. Same artist, uh, our sculpture, 
Ram Sutta, who is also for known for his Statue of Unity. Okay, a film on menstruation set in rural India, title period, end of sentence, has won the Oscar in documentary short subject category at the 91st uh, Academy Award. This is what we just read here. Win award winning filmmaker Raika Zehtabchi was the director of the film and has been produced by Indian producer Guneet Monga. Okay, let's uh, look at the next five. The world's largest Bhagavad Gita that weighs more than 800 kgs has been prepared by who has been conferred with the Gandhi Peace Prize for 2018. Recently, DIDO has successfully test-fired indigenously developed quick-reach surface-to-air missile QRSAMs from which coast? Recently, Union Minister of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Suresh Prabhu inaugurated National Institute of Design at which place through video conference from New Delhi? In which state will FCI Aravali Gypsum and Mineral India Limited set up the fourth white cement plant of the country? Let's look at the answers now. Here, the biggest, the largest Bhagavad Gita, it's prepared by ISKCON temple devotees in New Delhi. It's, it's weighing almost 800 kilograms, right? Now, President Ramnath Kovin, along with PM Narendra Modi, gave away the Gandhi Peace Prize for four years from 15 to 18. Vivekananda K and the Kanyakumari got the award for 15. For 2016, it has been jointly given to Akshay Patra Foundation and Sulab International. Ekalavian Trust won the award for 2017 and Elimination for Leprosy, the organization which is working for it, Yohi Sasaskoa, he, he is associated with and he has been honored for 2018. Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, successfully test-fired indigenously developed quick-reach surface-to-air missile from ITR Chandipur of the coast of Odisha. Uh, Union Minister and of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Suresh Prabhu inaugurated National Institute of Design at Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh and Zorhat in Assam through video conference. FCI Aravali will be opening the plant here in Himachal Pradesh at the cost of 605 crore. Let's look at the next five. The ELM2248 MF STARS multifunctional digital radar system belongs to which country? Who has joined Amazon's board of directors recently? Who has been appointed as the next High Commissioner of India to the Cooperative Republic of Guyana in the in at least five years? Indian trader will now export sugar to which country? In a major relief to consumer as well as mobile wallet companies, the RBI has extended the deadline for full KYC compliance by how many months? Let's look at the answers here. The ELM. 2248 MF STARS multifunctional digital radar. It's made by Israel Aerospace Industry, a subsidiary of uh, Israel Aerospace Industries. That's ELTA system, ELTA systems. PepsiCo India former uh, you know, uh, CEO Indra Nui has joined Amazon board of directors. KG Srinivasan has been appointed next High Commissioner of India to the Corporate Republic of Guyana. Capital is Georgetown, currency is Guyanese dollar. Indian traders will now be exporting, in, you know, at least after five years now, they are going to make the sugar uh, sales to Tehran. That's Iran. In a major relief to consumer as well as mobile wallet companies, RBI has extended the full KYC compliance by six months. Okay, let's look at the next five. Which Indian bank has tied up with Germany's KFW Development Bank for funding US dollar 113 million for ref, uh, to refinance solar projects? Ko Chanaba Sappa, who died at the age of 97, was from which state? Name the first bowler to back four wickets in four, four deliveries in T20s. Uh, recently, where has the Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Minister Dharman Pradhan inaugurated Samvad Skill Sathi Youth Conclave? Which company has launched world's first ultra converged broadband product at Mobile World Congress, Barcelona? Let's look at the answers here. State-run Bank of Baroda has tied up with Germany's KFW Development Bank for funding US dollar 113 million refinance solar project. Coach Chanaba Sappa, a former judge, writer and well-known liberal voice, was from Karnataka. Afghan leg spinner Rashid Khan claimed hat-trick and became the first bowler to bag four wickets in four delivery in 2020 internationals. Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Minister Dharmen Pradhan inaugurated Nua Odisha Dharmapada Samvad 
स्किल साथ ही यूथ कॉन्क्लेव इन भुवनेश्वर तेजस नेटवर्क हैज लॉन्च वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट अल्ट्रा कन्वर्ज ब्रॉडबैंड प्रोडक्ट एट मोबाइल वर्ल्ड कांग्रेस इन बार्सिलोना स्पेन द नेक्स्ट फाइव वेयर विल द हेडक्वार्टर्स ऑफ न्यूली प्रपोज सदर्न कोस्ट रेलवे द एटीन रेलवे जोन ऑफ द कंट्री बी हु हैज प्रेजेंटेड द नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस अवार्ड फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन Recently the Defence Acquisition Council has approved the acquisition of defence equipment for about 2700 crore rupees that include the acquisition of how many cadet training ships for navy National Youth Parliament Festival 2019 has been jointly organized by which and Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan under the aegis of Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports the 16th foreign ministers meeting of RIC that's Russia India China was held where Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about the Southern Coastal Railway will be the new zone of Indian Railways headquartered in Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Dr. Jitendra Singh presented National E-Governance Award 2019 at the function organized by Department of Administrative Reform and Public Grievances, Ministry of Personal Public Grievances and Pension in New Delhi. The Defence Acquisition Council has approved the acquisition of defence equipment for about 2700 crore. The approval includes acquisition of three cadet training ships. for navy which will provide basic sea training to officer cadet including women officers under training pm conferred the national youth parliament festival award 2019 and distributed the certificate to the winner he also launched khelo india app at the event national youth parliament festival has been organized by national service scheme and nehru yuva kendra sangathan under the aegis of ministry of youth affairs and sports on the theme of be the voice of new india and find solutions and contribute to policy external affairs minister sushma swaraj raised a strong pitch for the concerted international effort to combat terrorism at the 16 foreign meeting of russia india china as who's in china let's look at the next five recently which state has launched pranam commission a panel set up to look after the issues concerning a bill for protection of parents of state government employees indian teen age duo saurav choudhary and which other comfortably claimed the gold medal in 10 meter air pistol mixed team event of issf world cup in new delhi the aviation conclave 2019 has been inaugurated where which company has made india's first indigenous semiconductor chip the 20th session of the india italy joint commission for economic cooperation was held where let's look at the answers here assam chief minister Sir Banand Sonwal has launched Pranam Commission a panel set up to look after the issues concerning the bill for protection of parents of state government employees in teenage duo of Saurav Choudhury and Manu Bhakar comfortably claimed the gold medal in the 10 meter air pistol mixed team event at ISSF World Cup in New Delhi Suresh Prabhu has inaugurated the aviation conclave 2019 in New Delhi with an overarching theme of flying for all Secretary Telcom Mrs Aruna Sundarajan unveiled India's first indigenous semiconductor chip by Bengaluru based semiconductor company Signal Chip for 4G LTE and 5G NR modem in New Delhi. The 20th session of the India Italy Joint Commission for Economic Cooperation was held in New Delhi. Italy is India's fifth largest trading partner in European Union and 25th in the world during 2017-18. Italy capital is Rome, PM is Gusab Conte currency is euro. Who has inaugurated the International Digital Health Symposium in New Delhi? Who has launched the second edition of the Indian Sign Language Dictionary, brought out by Indian Sign Language Research and Training Centre under the Department of Empowerment of Persons and Disabilities? Recently, with which tech company has Niti Aayog signed a statement of intent to collectively drive the charter of developing creative skills? and spreading digital literacy across all atal tinkering labs in india which institution has been selected to set up country's first school board for vedic education of bhartiya shiksha board with which company the inland waterways authority of india has signed an mou to jointly develop infrastructure for meeting fuel lubricating oil lpg and natural gas requirements of national waterways let's look at the answers here we are talking about anupriya patel minister of uh health and family welfare inaugurated international digital health symposium in new delhi thawachand gelot union minister for social justice and empowerment launched the second edition of indian sign language dictionary niti aayog and uh, atal uh, innovation mission 
and Adobe signed the statement of intent to collectively drive the charter of developing creative skills and spreading digital literacy across all Atal Tinkering Labs in India. Uh, the governing council of Maharshi Sandipani Rashtriya Ved Vidya Pratisthan officially selected Yoga Guru Ram Dev's Patanjali Yogpe to set up country's first school board for Vedic education. Inland Waterways Authority of India and Indian Oil Corporation Limited signed an MOU to jointly develop infrastructure for meeting fuel, lubricating oil, LPG, and natural gas requirement of national waterways which banks have been taken out of prompt corrective action framework who has inaugurated titan wala museum in bagru jaipur rajasthan idb bank has appointed whom as non-executive non whole non time chairman who has been appointed as the new chairman of national book trust which power distribution company has been awarded the Saubhagya award under pradhan mantri sahaj bizli har ghar yojana at the national conference of energy ministers Let's look at the answers here. The Reserve Bank of India says Allahabad Bank, Corporation Bank and Dhanalakshmi Bank have been out of PCA framework. Bank of India, Bank of Maharashtra and Oriental Bank of Commerce were taken out of PCA framework on January 31st after infusion of capitals in this bank. Union Textile Minister Smriti Irani inaugurated the Titanwala Museum in Bagru, Jaipur, Rajasthan that showcases the Chippa communities hand block printing. IDBI Bank has appointed Heman Bhargava as non-executive, non whole time chairman. The National Book Trust has appointed edu educationist and author Govind Prasad Sharma, uh, Sharma as its new chairman. NBT, an autonomous organization under the Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development, was previously chaired by Baldev Sharma since 2015. The Central Zone Power Distribution Company, CZPDC, Bhopal and West Zone Power Distribution Company, Indore, have been awarded the Sobhagya Award, Sobhag Award under Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Harghari Yojana at National Conference of Energy Ministers. This award included 100 crore rupees each. Let's move to the next file. What is the rank of India in overall Inclusive Internet Index 2019 to the Inclusive Internet Index 3i prepared by Converse Intelligence, Intelligence Unit for Facebook? The 16th edition of BioAsia 2019 Asia's largest biotechnology and life sciences forum was held where? Who has inaugurated CIPET Central Institute of Plastic Engineering Technology Center for Scaling and Technical Support at Bojungnagar, Tripura? Who is the manufacturer of Mirage 2000 and World NGO Day has been observed on February what? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about India's rank is 47th in the overall inclusive internet index, whereas Sweden tops the chart. Telangana state government, uh, governor E.S. Narsimhan, he inaugurated the 16th edition of BioAsia 2019 Asia's largest biotechnology and life science forum in Hyderabad. The Union Statistic and Program Implementation Minister D.V. Sadanand Gauda inaugurated CIPT. India took the largest Jaise Mohammed training camp in Pakistan. We all know about that incident, what happened. Uh, that was uh, Balakot, right? The terrorist base camp where being trained here for another suicide bombing in India. That's what India claimed. The dozen fighters that were involved in the operation, that's all Dassault's Mirage 2000. So that's from Dassault. Okay, World NGO Day was born in London, the brainchild of Marsis Lyors Cadmanis. It is an international calendar day held on 27th of February everywhere to celebrate, commemorate and collaborate with various NGOs around the world. Let's move to the next. What is the theme for National Science Day 2019? Who has been appointed as the new chief of India Air Forces Sword Arm Western Air Command. Deepak Singh, winner of gold in Makran Cup in Chabar, is associated with which sport? On National Science Day, Union Minister Harshwardhan has launched an anthem as part of the campaign to make India plastic free by 2022 in how many languages? Name the payment aggregator system that has been launched by IRCTC. Here are your answers. We are talking about National Science Day is being celebrated on 28th of February each year to mark the discovery of Raman effect by the Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman on 20th February 1928. He was also awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. 
Kargil war hero present Eastern Air Command Chief Air Marshal R. Nambiar has been appointed as a new Chief of Indian Air Forces so um, Western Command. National champion Deepak Singh was a lone Indian boxer to notch up a goal while five other claimed silver at Makran Cup in Chabar, Iran. Indian Minister Harshwardhan, he has released this anthem to make India plastic free by 2022 and this has been released in some seven languages. Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation has launched its much-awaited owner-passenger own passenger friendly payment aggregator system called IRCTC iPay. Where was a two-day national workshop on preparedness, mitigation and management of heat wave organized? Who has launched Shreya's scheme named the cricketer who became the first to have crossed the mark of 500 sixes in ODI, named the first Indian origin Britain World War II spy to be honored with blue pluck at her former London home to mark the 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. A Dash based company will release 12 banknotes of zero value, the first ever limited edition commemorative series. The two day national workshop on preparedness, mitigation, and management of heat wave concluded successfully in Nagpur. The Minister of Human Resource Development, Sri Prakash Javedkar, he has really, you know, started or launched. Shreya scheme that is for providing our Indian youth on the job work exposure and earning of stipend. Chris Gale became the first one, you know, after having smashed 14 sixes in a match to have crossed that 500 mark. Britain's World Wars II spy Noor Inyat Khan was confirmed as the first Indian origin woman to be honored with the blue plaque at her former London home. To mark the 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, UAE-based company will globally release 12 banknote of zero value. Let's... Recently, which non-life insurance company has entered into a strategic partnership with Hyderabad-based AnytimeLoan.in? Which bank has been ranked the first among public sector banks in the implementation of reform agenda? Who has launched the Vandhan, the scheme for minimum support price for minor forest produce MFP scheme? and development of value chain of MFPs. India became the DASH member of International Energy, Energy Agency's Technology Collaboration Program on Bioengineering. The Union Cabinet chaired by PM Modi on Feb 28th has approved the construction of Metro project at which place? Let's look at the answers here. We're talking about the non-life insurance company ICICI Lombard has entered into a strategic partnership with Hyderabad-based Anytime Loan.in. PNB has been ranked among the public sector bank in implementation of the reform agenda. That's the first and followed by BOB and SBI. Sri Jualoram, Union Minister of Tribal Affairs, launched the ambitious scheme for Ministry of Tribal Affairs, Vandhan. That's the scheme for minimum support price for MFPs. The Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi was a price about the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas Government of India joining IEA Bioengineering TCP as its 25th member. The Union Cabinet has approved Kanpur Metro Rail project having two corridors estimated at the cost of 11,000 crores. Let's look at the next. Union Cabinet chaired by PM Modi on February 28 has approved an ordinance for 10% reservation for EWS category in which state? The Union Cabinet chaired by PM Modi on 28 has approved the proposal for setting up of Center for Disability Sports at which place the Union Cabinet chaired by PM Modi on 28 approved the proposal for implementation for scheme title Faster Adopt Adoption of Manufacturing of Electrical Vehicle in India Phase What for the promotion of electric mobility in the country, the fame we are talking about here. The Union Cabinet chaired by PM Modi has approved the construction of new greenfield airports at which place the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises organize a program on technology support and outreach in which place. The Union Cabinet has approved the proposal of Jammu and Kashmir government to issue Jammu and Kashmir Reservation Amendment Ordinance 2019 10% reservation for economic weaker section is made applicable to JNK also. The Union Cabinet Minister has proposed setting up of Center for Disability Sport at Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh. The approval for the faster adoption of manufacturing of electrical vehicle in India phase 2 we are talking about for promotion of electric mobility in the country. The scheme will have total outlay of 10,000 crore over the period of 3 years and will be implemented 
with effect from 1st April 2019. Union Cabinet has given us approval for development new green air for airport at Hirasar Rajkot, Gujarat, an estimated cost of 1405 crore. With a view to enhance awareness among MSMEs about latest technological innovations available and sensitize them on role of technology in creating competitiveness and opportunities, the MSME organized a program on technology support and outreach in New Delhi. Let's look at the next five. What is the forecast of Indian GDP according to Moody in 2019 and 20? The center and the Asian Development Bank has signed $926 million loan agreement to operationalize two lines of which metro? Who took charge as MD and CEO of ES Bank? Who has been appointed as non-executive chairman of Bank of Baroda? Who has been appointed as executive director of the Allahabad Bank for a period of three years? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about Indian economy is expected to grow at 7.3% in calendar year 2019 and 20. The US-based rating agency Moody said in its quarterly global macro outlook 2019-20. The center and the Asian Development Bank has signed $926 million to operationalize two lines of Mumbai Metro Rail System. Ravneet Gill has taken charge as managing director of CEO of ES Bank. Former Finance Secretary Hasmuk Adhya was appointed non-executive chairman of Bank of Baroda. Allahabad Bank has appointed P.R. Raj Gopal, General Manager, Union Bank of India as Executive Director of the Bank for a period of three years. Let's look at the next five. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the Government of India signed a 455 million US dollar loan to finance a rural road project in India's southern state of which place we're talking about. Dash announced the launch of its open banking platform, a significant step towards creating a collaborative ecosystem with enterprises, fintech and app developers and enhancing customer service delivery. Who has backed 25th Prime Minister's trophy for best overall performance? Who has laid the foundation stone for National Institute of Nani Medicine in Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh? According to the Ministry of Railway, the number of deaths on account of accident has come down by how many percent in the last five years? Let's look at the answers here. The Asian Infrastructure AIB and the Government of India signed 455 million US dollar loan to finance rural road project in Indian southern state of Andhra Pradesh. DCB Bank announced launch of its open banking platform, a significant step towards creating a collaborative ecosystem with enterprises. Uh, Tata Steel Limited jumps Shadpur work back Prime Minister trophy for the best overall performance along with cash prize of 2 crore rupees. Ayush Minister Sri Pad Yeso Nayak gave the foundation stone for National Institute of Unani Medicine at Ghaziabad in Uttar Pradesh. According to the Railway Minister uh, Sri Piyush Goel, you know, he has said in the last, uh, you know, the number of deaths on account of accident has come down by 81% in last five years. The, the rail said it is committed to bringing the number of accidental deaths to zero. He has said all unmanned crossing on the broad gauge network has been eliminated. Let's move to the next five. The scheme for translational and advanced research in science is associated with which zero discrimination day has been observed when Mainamati Maitri exercise 2019 was conducted between which countries? The organization of Islamic cooperation annual meeting 2019 was held where? Who has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Vietnam? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about the STARS, that is Scheme for Translation and Advanced Research in Science, that's for science projects. Okay, UN AIDS commemorates the Zero Discrimination Day under the theme of Society Free of Discrimination, which is globally celebrated on March 1st every year. The aim of the day is to call upon people everywhere in the world to affirm the universal right to live a life free of stigma or discrimination regardless of race, class and health condition. Border Security Force and Border Guard Bangladesh concluded the three-day Mainamati Maitri exercise 2019. India for the first time addressed in the OIC meeting in Abu Dhabi and asserted that the war against terrorism was not against any religion. Ministry of External Affairs point, appointed Pranay Kumar Verma as the next ambassador of India to Vietnam. Let's look at these. Who is the winner of non-life insurance uh, insurer of the year 2019 by the Asocham? Who will head a task force made by RBI to examine issues related to offshore rupee market and recommend policy measures to ensure stability of the external value of the domestic currency? 
who has launched the book Man Ki Baat, A Social Revolution on Radio. Which Indian scientist has been selected as the co-winner of 2019 Missile System Award along with Rondell J. Wilson, a former principal engineering fellow at Raytheon Missile System? The construction of Technology India 2019 Expo Come Conference was held where? Let's look at the answer. Bharti Exa General Insurance has been conferred the Non-Life Insurance of the Year Award 2019 by Asocham, one of the Apex Trade Organize Associations in India. The RBI announced the task force headed by RBI Deputy Usha Thora to examine issues related to offshore rupee market and recommended policy measure to ensure stability of external value of domestic currency. Shri Arun Jaitley, Union Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs, released the book Man Ki Baat, A Social Revolution on Radio in a function organized in National Media Center, New Delhi. The American Institute of Aeronautic and Astronautics Selected G. Satish Reddy, the Secretary of India's Department of Defense, R&D and Chairman of DRDO, as the co-winner of 2019 Missile System Award. In an effort on the use of advanced technology to meet increasing demand of housing in the country by rapid urbanization, PM has declared period from April 2019 to March 20 as Construction Technology Year. He addressed the Construction Technology India 2019 ExpoCom Conference in New Delhi. The Crew Dragon Capsule, a new spacecraft designed to carry human, belongs to which company? Zores Alferov, who died at the age of 88, was what? Who is the author of the book, The Third Pillar, How the Markets in the State Leave Community Behind? Lord Kumar Bhattacharya, who died at the age of 78, was an expert in which field? The alumnus and researcher of which IIT has created a laptop for visually impaired name dot book. Let's look at the answers here. The Crew Dragon capsule is launched by SpaceX and NASA. It's, it belongs to the space uh, capsule is by uh, SpaceX. Zoris L. Alferov was a Russian physicist. Raghuram Rajan has written this book, this the third pillar, how markets and state leave community behind, in which he argues that among the three pillars, society has weakened in comparison to government and market after the technological revolution. British Indian academic and manufacturing expert, Lord Kumar Bhattacharya, who founded the Warwick Manufacturing Group, passed away at the age of 78. The alumnus and researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, have created a laptop for visually blind that's your dot book let's move to the next which platform has emerged as the largest online lending platform according to the report by global financial firm credit Suisse? which state has launched jala Mrutha, an ambitious water conservation scheme which tech company has initiated project zero with one tp vaidyanathan who died at the age of 85 was what the 7th Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Intercession Ministerial Meeting was held where? Let's look at the answers here. Web portal PSB Loan in 59minute.com launched by PM Modi three months ago has emerged as the largest online lending platform. Karnataka Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy who launched Zal Ambrutha, an ambitious water conservation scheme that plans to create awareness among people of the state about the invaluable nature of water and need to conserve it at any cost. Amazon is taking new initiative called Project Zero in a bid to get rid of counterfeit products on its website. Vidwan, TP Vedanathan, renowned vocalist and a frontline artist in musical lineage of Mysore Vasudevacharya died at the age of 85. The minister from 16th Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP participating country, it was at Siam Reap in Cambodia. Let's look at the next. Recently, in which city PM Modi launched the factory to manufacture AK-203 rifles? Uh, the Central and Industrial Forces was set up in which year? The joint military exercise, Sampriti 2019, being conducted between which two countries? Recently, where has the foundation stone of National Institute of Mental Health Rehabilitation been laid? Who has won the gold medal in 65 kilogram freestyle in Bulgaria? Let's look at the answers here. Uh, PM Narendra Modi launched 17 development projects worth 538 crore at Amethi Uttar Pradesh. These projects include the manufacturing unit for AK-203 rifle. The Central Industrial Force was created in 1969. 
yeah why they were in news because they created history by creating you know single line bicycle parade with almost 1.3 lakh bicycle to mark the 50th year of the paramilitary force as part of ongoing india bangladesh defense cooperation a joint military exercise sampriti 29 is being conducted in tangail bangladesh from 2nd of march to 15th march the foundation stone of the national institute of mental health rehabilitation was laid at shaherpur village along bhopal shahror highway district shahror madhya pradesh indian star wrestler bajrang punia has won gold medal in 65 kg kilogram freestyle in bulgaria who is the winner of men's single dubai tennis championship 2019 title the national capital region ncr covering the national capital and part of up in haryana has surpassed which state in terms of fdi equity inflow the disaster management authority of which state has won scotch award for 2018 world hearing day is observed on what day of march and what is the theme for world wildlife day 2019 let's look at the answers here Roger Federer has claimed the 100th ATP title of his career by beating 20-year-old Greek Stefanos Tsitsipas 6-4-6-4 in the final of Dubai Tennis Championship. Companies and investors alike are betting on NCR and it has surpassed Maharashtra by attracting FDI equity inflows of 57,333 crore that's 8.3 billion for the first 9 month of 2018-19. Odisha State Disaster Management Authority OSTM has backed Scotch Award 2018 for its achievement in the field of disaster management. World Hearing Day celebrated on 3rd of March. On 20th December 2013, the 68th session of United Nations General Assembly decided to proclaim 3rd March as World Wildlife Day to celebrate and raise awareness of world wildlife fauna and flora. The theme was Life Below Water for People and Planet. Uh, which insurer has launched bank locker protector policy? James D. Gall is associated with which sports? Indian Civil Account Services ICA celebrates which day of March every year as Civil Accounts Day? The third edition of APJ Abdul Kalam Summit was organized where and recently the state has launched Mukhya Mantri Parivar Samman Nidhi Yojana. Which state we are talking about? Let's look at the answers here. If Code Tokyo General Insurance has launched this bank locker protector policy, James De Gaulle has retired from boxing. The Indian Civil Account Services celebrate March 1 every day Civil Accounts Day. Vice President Venkaiya Naidu addressed the third edition of APJ Abdul Kalam Summit on Innovation and Governance and gave away Kalam Innovation Governance Award in New Delhi. Haryana government has launched Haryana Mukhya Mantri Parivar Samman Nidhi Yojana. That's okay. So with that, we have come to an end of this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next week's. Thank you very much.